No, I had a little bit of time. We're coming up on the end of this session, and I didn't, I didn't get as much done today because of redoing that canopy, but I think it was worth it. And again, sometimes you just have to punt the football, and in this case, I'll try to do the ink on the other side of the rudder. That'll just about fill in the day. And all the time I spent up on that, boy. Well, in the overall scheme of things, it won't really matter. And we'll pick this up tomorrow. Now, today I only have about an hour or so, but I want to try to... Well, I'm not really sure if I want to put any more detail up on the cockpit yet, but I want to lay out some of the rivet lines in the back here. I wound up getting the, the details on the end of the rudder at the end of the last session. That doesn't, doesn't look totally out of character, but what I want to do, I have the outlines around here. Again, I have a very short session, so what I'll try to do is lay out some of the panel lines in the back part of the fuselage here with the little bit of time I have today. Now on a Seafire, I did a lot of riveting. And on the Spitfire, the original Spitfire, used wider space rivets and some ink lines. So what I think I'm going to try to do now is figure out how I want to do this, basically the ink lining part of it and a riveting part of it. Again, just by bouncing back and forth, and it's so important, and going to the books, I can kind of look at what parts of this I really like, and then hopefully wind up at the end of this with the best of all worlds. Yeah, with the ship on its side, I want to get the long ruler and some tape and try to figure out, get the rudder in place and get the whole side. Uh, really important to work in a horizontal manner like this to get whatever, whatever lines you want to have laid out here. Okay, the first line is on, and what I like about it is, that, of course, as it goes through to different colors, it changes. And I think that's that's one of the nice aspects of doing inking this way. I think that really adds a little touch that, well, I'm sure some other ships will have it, but not everyone, and it'll set it apart in a crowd. Now, another thing I want to do is I want to separate this by having rivets that are further apart and closer together. So one of the things that's real important, and believe me, the first time you make this mistake, you'll feel like I did, is I start at one end with black rivets. When I get to the part where it's going to have to change to white, I immediately switch to the white pen. Because if I just figure I'll skip over, in this case, I'm skipping every other one to spread the rivets apart. What will happen, you get black, 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 white, and there won't be a clean connection to them. So. If you know that ahead of time, start at one end, whatever spacing. In this case, we're spacing it using every other one. And what will happen when I get down to doing the white ones, I don't want to be out of sequence. by temporarily ending that line right at a stripe it just makes it easier to connect as we go further up into the fuselage. Getting the, getting the rivets at a different spacing than the wing really makes it, I think it does anyway, makes it stand out. Again, a lot of times you'll get with the white where I'll have to go back over it. It's not sticking real good. I'll just let that dry and go over it again when I'm done with this side. And now I want to lay out and I have that flexible as I said, I have the flexible. And what I did, I marked up the rivet spacing. It's different even from the wing and the fuselage. So did I have a variety. And I can bend this right around, hold it in place, and just drop the dots in. By using the multiple thicknesses of lines, the different illusions you can create on some of the little detailing. And it's always a good idea, again, just if you, if possible, end at a paint line. It's not as obvious if you have a bad joint there. Of course, it's best to have all good joints.
Okay, next step, flip this over and try to get a mirror image of everything that I've done from this point back, and that'll probably be all I can work on today. Again, I'm trying to get ideas as I go along, little things I can add in as I'm going along. Yeah, this is about all I got done tonight. At the bottom, well, tomorrow, now I'm trying to lay it out in my mind tomorrow. Try to get the top here and around the front. And we'll be light, ready for some Letra sets. I have to look and see if I even have any more. Anyway, we'll pick this up tomorrow. This is day six and we're working on the side of the fuselage, doing some more riveting and panel lining. Trying to get some riveting around the cockpit area. Again, this is just time consuming. Now I'm kind of excited about the fact that Getting near the end, hopefully getting near the end of this. I want to get the detailing up on the nose, the Zeus fasteners. I have some other little detailing to do. Again, the books are so helpful. Even though we can't make scale replications, we get just tons of good ideas. Now, what are the most realistic of all the little detail things that are rivet the Zeus fasteners and the rivet heads from this top flight template and I'm trying to line up see as the curve comes around I want to line up the first group with the second group here it's a little difficult there we go and of course if you don't get it right on the first shot it's easy just erase it And a real fine pen, this is the smallest of the pens, this is a zero, and this puts on some really, real tiny details. Now here's the deal, if you get a bad one, in this case, we got a little smudge on this one, and that's not so unheard of. If you get a couple of smudgy ones when doing rivet lines or Zeus fasteners, now I just go back, wipe the template, make sure you don't have a little. These can add a nice little touch and a variety of the riveting and Zeus fasteners. Nice combination. Now before I lay out this, the front line is a very defining line and it should go right on top of the exhaust stack. So what I